Welcome back to the Recovery Channel. I'm Brian Ariel, Treatment Director of the Outpatient Recovery Program at Applied Care Services. Today we're going to talk about emotions a little bit. We're going to talk about emotions in recovery and kind of like some boundaries and some boundaries we have to have around our emotions. So imagine we're in recovery and we've had to cut off our friends because they're using and they're not pushing us in the right direction. And the only person we have is our family. The only people we have is our family. And we come home from work and we say to our family, wow, I was really triggered today and I really kind of feel like using today. And I'm really struggling today. And we keep on putting this on pressure on our family. We keep on uh, dumping our emotional, for a lack of a better word, our emotional garbage where we live and with the people that are closest to us. And sometimes those people can get irritable and be panicked because what we're sharing is maybe the truth, but we're dumping our emotional garbage on the floor for, again for them. And so the better way would be to find a sponsor, a mentor, someone professional to kind of unload these things so you can create a safe place where you're the greatest with the greatest support. So at home with your wife, let's use that as an example. You wouldn't want to come home from work and say, hey, honey, I drove by a couple bars and I really felt like I needed to have a drink and I'm really struggling right now because I'm overstressed. And you know what? I don't even know if I really want to be sober. Imagine that, hearing that and going, oh, okay, well, it's nice that you didn't use, but that might create, and again, here we are, dumping emotional garbage and baggage in the place that is supposed to be safe for us. So let's use this rule. This rule. Don't dump your garbage where you live. You don't want to live in your emotional garbage. Plus, we don't want other people living in our emotional garbage either. So that's why it's very important in our recovery to have emotional outlets at other places, not just with our family or our loved one, but professionally. So we have an emotional outlet if we think of it like garbage receptacles, right? Like recycling, you know, so the recycling can have paper, plastic, glass, and then just food scraps or whatever you want to call it. So we want to make sure that we're putting our emotional stuff in the right receptacle with the right people. We want to be emotionally stable and clean when we come home so we don't stress out our family or our loved ones. So having a sponsor is one outlet or one receptacle that we can put that in, right? I can go to someone who's been in recovery for a while, who's my sponsor or mentor, and I can tell them I'm struggling, I'm really worried, I'm thinking I'm going to relapse without stressing out our other support, our family. Professionally too, we can say whatever we need to our therapist or our counselor and process through that and find out that maybe we're not as bad off as we thought we were, or maybe we're just bad, just as bad off as we were before. But we're not, again, dumping that emotional garbage in our safe place. So we wanna create a safe place, and we have many emotional outlets. And we wanna be emotionally centered and emotionally ready for our loved ones. We wanna be available and not stress them out by having this emotional vomit or this emotional garbage all over the place. So let's keep that in mind. Let's find appropriate outlets for our emotional baggage so we're not stressing out the people that really wanna support us, but then also the people that have seen us go through the worst that it possibly is. We don't want them to worry that much about us. And we also need to have something other than ourselves and our family when we're having these emotional outlets. I hope this makes sense and I hope this helps you. So find an appropriate emotional outlet. Don't bring it all and dump it all at home with your family or your significant other. Find a different place and be emotionally available for the people that love you and need you because the emotions are reciprocal. You give to them, they give to you. And in that way, we can be emotionally more healthy and emotionally more connected. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. I'm Brian Ariel, Treatment Director of the Outpatient Recovery Program at Applied Care Services.